It's called a USC, um, basically club bell, mudgar, made of iron. An actual gada, uh, where the mace is inspired by, is, is usually only found in Varanasi. Almost all the maces that you find in Europe or the USA are made in China. Boom! Welcome to another video of the Flowing Dutchman. Now in this video I'd like to talk about a very cool mace or you can also call it a club bell or mudgar. Now the thing is in India it's very difficult to get a steel mace or mace bell. Basically a stick on a handle but made from steel. Now the thing is, this is a gravity fitness 4 kilogram mace and it's slightly smaller than a regular mace. So that's why it's a good comparison mace to the only available option here in India so far. Now this is made and it's called a USC, um, basically club bell, mudgar, made of iron. That's what it says on Amazon. So this is one of the only options that I've seen in India if you want something similar to a mace. And why is that? Because they have other options like a wooden club, um, which is more similar to a actu an actual mudgar, but the weight distribution is different. Because usually with a wooden club, you have a thicker, um, a thicker frame. So closer to your handle, where your hand is, there's a lot more weight. But now with this one, it's actually, I'm not sure if it's a hollow handle, but the handle is relatively light. So the weight is all the way at the end, almost all the weight. And that's why this is a, well, it's a reasonable option. I remember watching it at first um, and I was quite surprised because I was like, yeah, this is probably not the best option because it's not long enough here. Yeah? Usually a mace is like this. But then again, it's not sold as a mace, but I would say it's still more similar to a mace than a club bell. So the idea is that this is a 10 kilogram mace. So as you can see, it swings quite well and it's relatively small. Now, if you compare it to the gravity fitness one, I directly notice a big difference. The handle is lighter, the weight is more at the end, so there's more of a pendulum. And this is also due to the fact that it's longer. Now it's interesting because an actual gada, uh, where the mace is inspired by, is, is usually only found in Varanasi. What you find elsewhere in the Akharas is more of a um, mukdar type of club. So you'll find these smaller, wooden clubs with the weight much more similar or much closer to the hand. Now, so this is more of a representation of what you'll find in Varanasi and this is also what they would call a mace, steel mace or mace bell. Now, at first I was also like, oh, this mace is not long enough. But it's actually a really fun way to practice. And because you have in India a lot of chotabais, a lot of people that are, you know, um, smaller than me, um, it's not that big of an issue to have a smaller mace. So that's why I particularly started to enjoy this one, the USC, because the momentum is still pretty good for a club and it swings very well, it's well balanced and it's relatively cheap because because of India's import laws, it's very, very difficult to actually import a mace because you have to buy, well, pay at least double the amount that it actually costs. So that's why it's, well, not really a good thing to buy it from a European or um, basically a Western uh, manufacturer. So you don't have that many options. And since the movement of the mace was inspired by India, but didn't uh, originate in India because the steel versions were made in the USA first now India still has to you know come with these maces and because their uh, tie with uh, China is not that well you won't find any Chinese maces and the thing is 
almost all the maces that you find in Europe or the USA are made in China. So with this also a message to India's manufacturers, start making more maces because there is a demand for it. Ah. You know, it's just a beautiful tool that represents and has an ancient history on which is this base with this beautiful background here in Hawamahel, Jaipur. Okay, so then the last thing about this iron mukhtar. So you can use it as a heavy club for more static exercises, which would is are diff more difficult to do with a longer mace because the weight is actually close to the hand. This thing is 10, 10 kilograms, which is not a weight you should start with. It's around 3,500 rupees at the moment, which is about mm, 40, 42 euro, um, which is, you know, a decent price if you compare it to, uh, yeah, we would, we would pay for a 10 kilogram mace, I think around 100 euros. So that's pretty good price. And then you also have a five kilogram, which I would definitely recommend as the first one if you want to start with this type of workout and training. That one is actually 1800 rupees, which is around 20, 22 euros. So that's really a great offer. And because it's not custom made, because if you now want to have a mace in India, you should probably go to a welder, which will make it for you, but you have to have the right dimensions. And you know, not everybody is going to go over that hurdle to actually design and make and create one. So if you're not into that, what you can do then is purchase this on Amazon and at least you can get started, you know, you can get started with some of the exercises. That said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to finish off with that I recently made a program for strongandfit.com, which is an introductory course for the mace and mace flow. So this program will teach you in six weeks of training a way and method of starting from the start to a pretty good decent level and it will get you there step by step with two workouts in every week. I highly recommend this program yeah and I want to finish off with saying Ram Ram welcome to my India bye bye. Thank you for your attention it's greatly appreciated if you like the content please consider to share like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see similar videos you can see them over here if you're interested in learning more from me as a coach, I've got online courses on dodgeflowacademy.com. Keep flowing, Ram Ram.